he's gonna pick a, a newer shirt to wear in our video. I don't know. It's all right. Uh, Looks feel, comfy, right? Is that your junior high? Yeah. Bro, I told you just recently I got rid of I got rid of all of my shit in my closet and I kept only soft shirts. Yeah, that's really there's like several holes in that thing. That's great. That's what makes it better, man. That's yeah, nice. Uh, so uh, Adam, uh, what are you in. doing? Buy some curls. Right, but the, the bench is um, at an incline. Messing with my elbow positioning. Elbow positioning. We mm. talked about this mm. on a mind pump episode. Uh, you guys mind going into that for biceps? Yeah, Let's yeah. do it. So, so this is our first position we're looking at here. You're in an incline position, you're letting your arms come all the way down so they can get nice uh, range of motion locking all the way out. Right, so you've got elbow position one that we like to focus on with biceps, which is behind the body. Number there's, a, two. there's a couple of things that I like, you know, I want to address about a move like this too. That's really important is anytime that we can do an exercise where we can benefit like not only hitting the bicep different, but also work on like posture and things that people have a struggle, have a hard time. We always talk about everyone having this rounded shoulder, like almost everybody has right. one, some case of this. So anytime we can do a move where it puts you in a more favorable position or that's going to work on those muscles, I'm always a huge fan of. So when you do an incline bench, naturally the shoulders already start to full and you really want to exaggerate that chest up, shoulders all the way back, pinching that scapula and then also do the bicep. It's also important, like he's not pulling his elbows forward as he curls. A lot of guys I see right? do this. Yeah, so yeah, you want to keep them in line with your body. Keep them in line with the body. So the second position that you probably want to focus on if you, when you're working your biceps for the second angle uh, would be elbows next to the body. Okay, so like a standing curl, you mean? Yeah, so standing curl. So yeah, sure grab, your, grab your five like. pound dumbbells. <laughs> <laughs> and so. My favorite stance, Adam always gets into he's, this. He's famous for this. Yes. You know, you know the reason why I teach this stance though? Oh, I picked it up from you. I yeah. mean, I, I do it too. I, and I, you know, it, when, you, when you put a client. It doesn't look dainty. Well, here's the thing. It's kind of like a flamingo. Or you'll yeah. never catch me in a stance like that doing any sort of a power or a big movement. You're not gonna deadlift like that. You're gonna do a, you're not gonna do anything. Right. We're not doing an exercise that we're trying to generate a ton of, ton of power from, right? It's more of a finesse, it's an auxiliary yeah. movement. So at this point, I care more about like my posture. Right. And I care about form and technique and the mechanics of the exercise. So this is, I make clients do this all the time because when you put them in a split stance, I tell them to put all their weight on their front foot. That back foot is really just to help you with your balance. See? It really forces them it up. It props you up right. It does it. Because well, if, if you I mean, slouch. It's, you know, that's a good, the good point too is that you're doing it with curls. You're not going to go heavier with curls. Right. Or at least you shouldn't go nothing. Well, that's what I'm saying. You're yeah. I would never do this with a, a And big, of course you'd want to alternate this. Put right? you in a slightly imbalance. Actually imbalanced. what I recommend, so here's a recommendation for somebody, if you try that, if you do a split stance with your exercises, find out which one is more challenging for you. That's the one I make so you, you put forward yes. and get better there's at it. There's always gonna be, you're always gonna have, well, someone will be left or right dominant, where it's gonna feel more natural for them to balance on the left leg or to balance on the right. Whichever one is more challenging for you, that's the one I want you to balance right, on. Right. So we can we can work on that at the same time that we're working on leg right, Perfect, like, like, like wonderful mind pump fashion, completely off topic. So now we're, <laughs> yeah. so standing Let's get curls, back to the biceps, huh? elbows, uh, elbows at your sides, that would be the second position. Third position, elbow in front of the body. Yep. So can we demonstrate that on the bench? One yeah, arm, you wanna do one like arm a, preacher, like a preacher? Yeah. Preacher, your arm is like 13 inches now. That's great. <laughs> eh, 13 and a half. <laughs> the tattoos so, make him look bigger for sure. So here's the important thing to know. Uh, you know, uh, angles are very, very important when it comes to developing uh, all-round strength. Um, and uh, be, oh, mainly because why? Because biceps adapt, or excuse me, muscles, excuse me, adapt in very specific ways. And so if all Adam ever did was curls in this position here, much of the strength he's going to gain from this exercise is going to be applicable in this position. Once he moves his elbow behind his back, he's going right. to lose a lot of that. So it's important to change up those angles. And with biceps, these are the three we like to focus on. A uh, little recap, uh, behind the body, uh, side of the body, and in front of the body. What about one more topic related to this is the pronation, the supination of the hand. What's right. your opinion on that? Right, well, bicep is involved in uh, supination and pronation of the, of the arm. I always like to include some type of a neutral grip exercise, like a hammer curl or a supinating uh, type curl movement, just to train that muscle in its full capacity. And with the same rules apply of the variance of the angles with that also, whether oh, you're pronating or supinating. Oh yeah, you could do hammer curls on the preacher, you can do them behind the body, just like you were with the supinated curl. Excellent, so, excellent. Yeah, there or you, you could do pull-ups too. Yeah. Yeah. We could talk about that. No, that's a right. gross uh, motor movement. Well, let's, let's be honest, pull-ups. Very effective. Let's not forget about one it. One of the that's best uh, bicep exercises you'll ever do. 100%. There it is. 100%. There you go.